cloud that descended over Sebastian Loeb after just 30 kilometers of stage one of the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge may actually turn out to have a silver lining. The W2RC Championship leader's closest rival, Nasser Al Atiyah, retired after a sixth gear crash yesterday, meaning he will score no point here, while the Frenchman picked up five bonus points as the winner of the stage. The 30 points for overall victory will go elsewhere, but with a second win today, Loeb's already picked up 10 bonus points, with five more possible tomorrow. But to take any of that, he must avoid all the trouble that the desert can throw at him, in whatever shape it comes. I took it a bit safe, uh, didn't want to take big risks. It was a really tricky stage uh, with a lot of very fast section with sometime broken dunes, but just unpredictable. So I had the feeling to be very slow, but uh, I think uh, at the end it's what we had to do. If finishing the rally is vital for Sebastian Loeb, it's doubly so for Yazid Al Raji. The Saudi and German co driver Timo Gutschalk held a near nine minute lead overnight with the prospect of a massive win just two days away. But like Loeb, there was a lot more than just glory at stake. Even without a stage win, if Al Raji claims victory, he'll be catapulted to joint third in the W2RC title race. The stakes are extremely high. And overall, we are lead in the stage. We don't need to, to fight with the stage and take a mistake and lose everything. Now I have again motivation after this race. We can go Argentina, Mexico, Morocco. Before my plan, uh, Argentina, not sure. Now, sure, I go. What a rally Martin Prokop is having. When you start an event with two cars from Toyota Gazoo Racing and two from BRX Pro Drive, you pretty much assume you're going to be battling for a spot at the lower end of the top six. Lying in second after three days then might have phased the check, but today he chased the leader through the shortened stage, losing less than a minute to the Toyota while strengthening his hold on second place. At the end of day one, Dennis Krotov lay sixth after a tough battle with Juan Cruz Jacopini. Fourth after day two, with Jacopini no longer a threat, he found himself on the podium at the end of day three. And that's where he remains, heading for his strongest result since winning the Silkway Rally in 2021. He's the best placed of the three X-Raid minis on the event. After a strong start, day two saw Argentina's Juan Cruz Jacopini move into fourth place, benefiting from the problems of others. But he suffered his own woes on stage three, losing 20 minutes to rally leader Al Raji and dropping to fifth overall. Today, however, less than 20 seconds separated him from the Saudi's Toyota, and he's now up to fourth, three minutes ahead of compatriot Scott Halpen. One of two minis in the top five, Halpen's climbed the leaderboard from ninth on day one to seventh on day two, and now fifth with one day left to go. But losing two minutes and fourth place to Jacopini will have hurt. Wrestling that spot away from his fellow Argentine will be a tantalizing target on tomorrow's final stage. While the gaps on the podium will be tough to close, the battle for fourth is a close one, with 200 kilometers left in which to decide it. If Sebastian Loeb finishes tomorrow, he'll have established a big lead over Nasser Alatia without having yet won an event.